My name is Hugo Vreke. I'm an assistant professor at the University Medical Center in Groningen in the Netherlands. And I also work as a consultant anesthetist in the General Hospital AZ St. Jan Brugge in Belgium. I have experience for about a year with null monitoring. I performed about 100 cases where I really extensively looked for the response of the null in certain conditions. I like to use it for patients in which it's hard to predict how they will respond to my opioids. Uh, for example, patients that are very obese or patients that are very old, also drug addicts uh, or patients with a very large use of uh, painkiller medication. I use NOL to optimize my drug titration. That means first I try to reach reasonable level of hypnotic drug effect. I often measure it with a bispectral index monitor and I try to have a range between 40 and 60. And only once I've reached that steady hypnotic level, I evaluate the null and then I start adapting my opioid titration in order to have a good range of effects. What I like about null is that it quantifies the fluctuations during the surgery related to the intensity of the stimulus. So even if I have a very steady hypnotic drug level as measured by BIS and maintained by my TCI pump for propofol, I see a lot of fluctuations and I can adapt my fentanyl accordingly. And this is a powerful tool to optimize the amount of drug that I give to my patients. And I have the impression that if I do this in 100 patients, the timing for reaching a clinical situation where I can extubate a patient and wake him up, it is very consistent and predictable. And I think this is the way to go. Uh, titrate according to steady state uh, levels of pharmacological effect and then adapt to the individual response of the patient. Apart from all the other monitors, I think the null monitor adds additional information that improves my drug titration. I don't give too much, don't give too little, I just titrate my drugs to meet the patient's needs. I think that is in the benefit of the patient.